Hey everyone, I am Zeb Khan and I am a front-end engineer. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a responsive card grid in Angular using Flex Layout. Something like this. In this video, I'll build upon the previous example and show you how we can let the user change the grid layout dynamically. We'll add a slider control to the app which can be used to change the number of cards in a row when on desktop screen sizes. This can be a cool feature for those users who have large desktops and want to use the extra space. To get started, let's first import our Max Slider module. and the forms module because we're going to use the forms API in Angular. Next, let's go to our template and add the mat slider control to our toolbar. Now it has a few options so let's start with the minimum value that it should have. We'll keep it as 3 and the maximum we'll keep it as 6. That is 6 cards in a row. Uh, also, we will enable the thumb label option because we want the thumb to show when the user is changing the value in the mat slider. Okay, so this is going to show the slider fine, but we want to add a caption to it as well so the users know what they are doing with the slider. So let us add a div containing div and add a span within it where we can uh, put the caption for what we are actually trying to do and also add a bit of styling to it so we're going to call this column label and uh, as for the column label we'll add some styling for this uh, and we're just going to uh, introduce a small margin of 8 pixels and we are going to make the font size as um, maybe 1 REM. Okay. Uh, let's save this now and let's check this out how it looks. Okay, so yes, we have a uh, okay looking column and we, we can see that okay it goes from between 3 to 6. We'll now introduce a new variable. To specify the number of columns. Let's call this grid columns and we are going to use the ng model directive to introduce two-way binding to this variable. So whenever the slider control is updated the grid columns variable will be updated as well and vice versa. Let's, uh, it's giving the red uh, mark here because uh, we need to add it to our component as well. So let's add it to our component as well and give it a default value of 3. Okay, so the red marks are gone. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to hide this whole col uh, this whole columns control uh, on non-desktop screen sizes. So to do that we are going to use an fx hide directive uh, and we are going to add a suffix of less than medium. Now fx hide on its own will hide this on all screen sizes uh, and since we have added a suffix of less than medium screen sizes so it's uh, at this point it's only going to hide it on non desktop screen sizes and this is exactly what we want so let's now check this out to see if it works uh, it shows in on uh, larger screen sizes and when we reduce it it hides and we since we don't want to change our layout on these screen sizes uh, this is perfect for us okay so this works great now all that is left is to modify the fx flex directive that we have here to use our variables let's change the directive to use an expression instead of a value so first of all we'll add the square braces to it so that we can specify an expression and then we are going to uh, add a small formula to this and we're going to call this grid columns uh, sorry 100 divided by grid columns and we're just going to add plus percent to it so this means that um, it's going to divide uh, it's going to divide the grid columns by 100 
and it's going to get a percentage which we can then use to display the right number of columns that the user wants or the right number of cards in the row. Um, the calculation itself is pretty simple and if you have any queries for that do ask me in the comments. Uh, now let's check uh, whether it works okay. Okay so as you can see we have uh, three column settings at this point and we have three cards in a row. Now if we increase it to four we can, you can see we have four and if you 5 and 6 which looks really good on this uh, wide screen size and if you make it wider it will make more sense but if you want if you don't want and if you want to see smaller screen sizes that's fine as well uh, and if you reduce the screen width here it's going to uh, uh, behave as it did in the original demo great so now our users will be able to control their grid layout according to their preferences the great thing about flex layout is that we can add an expression in place of a value in any other directives as well such as fx show fx hide etc and this makes the whole process very flexible i hope you liked this bonus video if you did like and subscribe for more thanks